We loved him more than anything else in this world. If it involved adventure, it had Jonathan Fielding's name written all over it. He loved hiking. Like every single weekend that he was off of work, he was out there finding places. And for Christmas, I actually got him a National Park Pass. Last weekend, Jonathan went on his final adventure, where he spent his last minutes doing what he loved, hiking and taking pictures. He had a true talent. Like his photograph, his photographs were unbelievable. He was going to have such a big career in front of him. Jonathan's sister, Rebecca Fielding, says Jonathan and some friends were near Moonscape Overlook when he climbed down to a ledge, lost his balance, and fell 150 feet before rolling another 150 feet. He died on impact. One of the only small comforts of this is that he died on impact and he didn't feel any pain, and he probably didn't have time to register really what was happening. Rebecca says her brother was the kind of person who put everyone before himself. He was not very prepared for camping, and so I offered him my sleeping bag and my sleeping pad because I was going to be a whole lot warmer in my car, but he refused to take them, and he slept outside. He did not want to make anyone else uncomfortable for his sake. As Rebecca thinks about the talkies. He loved talkies. Growing up, we were like obsessed with them. Spider-Man plushie. We had so many good conversations about the movies. Plastic baby. It's an inside joke for us. And journal she placed near the site of her brother's death. The last sentence that I wrote was, he was an individual who left a Grand Canyon-sized impact on the world. She hopes people will remember, no view is worth your life in memory of her baby brother. It is so easy to misjudge a place, to misjudge a cliff, and all it takes is one wrong step, and you lose everything. Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.